And why did we choose Peak the Sheep? Well, Monkey Bar is a very big rural and regional touring theatre company and we were looking for work that was really going to reflect the community that we perform in and Peak the Sheep kind of fitted that perfectly. The themes of difference and friendship are really palpable but what one of the things we really loved about it was the fact that it reflected an occupation and a community that is very much alive in rural and regional Australia and that's the community of shearers. I think in terms of adaptation, the adaptation of a picture book is probably the most challenging in terms of all literature. We're relying very much on the images and on, on the very minimal words. We tend to spend a long time musing over the pictures, over the words, over the stories, and it can be anything up to six months before we actually start to create dialogue. And once we've created that first draft, it's at that point that we then hand it over to a dramaturg for feedback, and then we hand it over to the composer to give, um, to give them the opportunity to build the, um, the, the musical score and the composition around the story that we're beginning to create. So it is a long process, um, but it's an incredibly enjoyable process. Righty, yo, fellas, let's read the book. All right. Ratso the Shearer had a sheep dog called Brute. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's true. Big Bob the Shearer had a sheep dog called Tiny. <coughs> oh, I love dogs. <laughs> Bungo the Shearer had a sheep dog called Fang. <coughs> that's my Fang. <laughs> but the new Shearer had a sheep sheep. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Are you sure? No, come on. It says a sheep, sheep sheep. Sheep sheep. Not a sheep dog, a sheep sheep. I've never heard of a sheep sheep. That's just wrong. That's just wrong. Sorry. How, how wrong is it, Ratso? Back to work, come on. Oh, um, get to putting ideas in your head like this. <clears throat> ah, said Pete politely. Look, I think the challenge of Pete the Sheep is to try to bring this fantastic uh, picture book to life with only four actors playing sheep, dogs and shearers and swapping and changing and trying to keep the sort of uh, narrative flow going for the kids so they can understand it. But it is an iconic sort of Australian landscape, an iconic Australian picture and we've got the, the inside of the shearing shed. Um, four great singers, so uh, music's a very important part of it. And at the moment, we're just sort of trying to nut out the best way to get these people transforming forming from uh, sheep to Dr. Shearer in front of our eyes. But I think, I think we're getting there. I've been really fortunate to be able to be present throughout the entire rehearsal period. And um, one thing that I'm really, really loving watching is the way the performers are slowly layering their performance, you know, you know so first with you know, learning the lines, the, the choreography, the harmonies, the singing. And then the other fabulous thing for us is that we've been able to have the entire set from week two in the rehearsal room and also props and some cozies. So that has also been a really fascinating thing to watch how the performers then um, build the set moves and you know using that in their performance. So we're in a really, really great place in week three, ready for tech week next week where we bring in the lighting and you know all the other elements to complete the performance. So we're in a great place, I'm very excited and we cannot wait to see how the show will be received by young people who it's aimed at. Uh, very exciting. I'm uh, really looking forward to getting out on the road and taking our Pete the Sheep story around the country. Um, the challenges are obviously going to be fitting our wonderful set and costumes, lights and our actors into those different venues around Australia. Uh, but that's part of the fun and part of the challenge and I can't wait to hit the road.